Hi, my name is Marion Kalmer and I'm a farmer from Western Illinois. And today we're shooting another video here on setting corn head speed, rotor speed, and concave clearance. I'm trying to make this as generic as possible uh, so that it will apply to virtually any corn head in any color combine, whether it's red, green, yellow, or gray. Uh, my thinking process continues to evolve every year. Uh, the more farmers I visit with, the, the better opportunity I have to learn things new and I want to pass that information uh, along to all of you. Um, on the corn head speed, uh, as time goes by, um, in conversations we talk about butt shelling and, and I can honestly tell you 99% of butt shelling, uh, in my opinion, comes from speed. Uh, it, it, if you were to exaggerate, you take an ear of corn, set it on a metal stripper plate, there's no kernel loss. You take an ear of corn, slam it down on a metal stripper plate, and the kernels are going to fly. So speed's a big one. Uh, this year the crop's drying very fast, uh, a lot of dry corn this year. So every year I keep continuing to slow the corn head down. Uh, you can slide out, just take you know half of the header, and, and see what your maximum speed is. Um, if, if you can, with half the head, if you can run six, seven mile an hour, I, I, I would think the header's too fast. And so uh, uh, slow her down and try to keep the kernel damage, uh, shell corn, um, to, to a minimum. Uh, as I always said, if, if you don't butt shell it, you don't have to worry about cleaning it up. So as we move on back into the combine, and let's talk a little bit about rotor speed. And the, the thing about rotor speed is that the, the faster it is, the faster the ground speed. That's going to be the upside for, for rotor speed. Now the downside is that as rotor speed increases, so does the amount of cracks and the amount of broken cobs. And we, we don't like either one of those because uh, it makes it more difficult to, to set the sieves and, and keep the sample nice and clean. So that's my thoughts on speed. Uh, I've run anywhere from 250 to 400 on rotor speed. I've, I've seen them both be just fine. Um, uh, this uh, fall at, at our uh, harvesting seminar, uh, I had the rotor speed at 250. Um, it was doing a beautiful job. So speed it up till you see a couple of cracks in the grain tank and then back her down. The other source of cracks, believe it or not, is the cross auger in a corn head. Uh, if it gets too close, the, the flighting will come along and slice through the husk, through the kernels, and into the cob. And as it does so, it will crack grain. And m my opinion is that a correctly set cross auger, uh, when I'm turning on the end rows, I'm looking down there, there should be a layer of ears. That way I don't have to worry about the flighting, slicing, and cracking kernels. So now let's uh, wrap up here with setting the concave clearance. And, and this is something that's changed for me as well just over the last year. And again, it comes from having this harvesting seminar. I get the combine as far out of adjustment as I could, and this fall I had the, the concave wide open. And we took off down through the field, did the first kill stop, and there was, there was no kernels on the cob. And I, as I talked to the college boys, I said, well, I really don't have a reason to, to close it back down. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out and I'm going to look at the cob, and uh, you can see some of the... Uh, bees wings, the red eye is, is still on this cob. There, there's no marks on it where we've uh, over, tried to overthresh it and there's no upside to that either. So I guess my new way of setting the uh, threshing uh, uh, concave clearance um, for corn is that I'm just going to continue to open it and once I start to see either some more needle, needle deflection or some more bars on the chart uh, for rotor loss, then I'll back her back down. But I'm, I'm going to run that at uh, concave as far open as I can. And as long as there's no kernels on the cob and uh, there's no grain loss out the rotor, I, I think I'm good to go. So those are my thoughts on uh, setting the header, uh, setting the rotor speed, and setting the concave clearance. So. As always, uh, I enjoy the, the phone calls that I get every day during harvest. I'm glad to help you out. I maybe don't always have the answer, but I think the two of us thinking together uh, can sometimes uh, come up with a, with a solution. And I don't always uh, have it go right for me every day either. And I have people that I visit with. So feel free, call me on my cell phone, 309-368-1182. As always, you can visit our website, calmercornheads.com, for more information about harvesting, combine settings, and both 
corn and soybeans. So with that, I hope that you have a safe, profitable, and enjoyable uh, harvesting season. Thank you.